The government's decision to sack the state's prison boss will cost taxpayers more than $400,000. Corrective Services Commissioner Ian Johnson still had three years left on his contract. We're not dealing here with choir boys. We're not dealing here with uh, angels. Even by Ian Johnson's admission, running our prisons is a tough job. Dealing with a prison population at record levels and more recently teenagers being forced into adult jails. But after seven years, it's a job he's now been forced to leave. He's not the sort of person, in my view, to run from trying to deal with difficult issues. Mr Johnson was meant to stay on in the highly paid position for another three years, but the decision to force him out early will leave taxpayers having to spend $420,000 on paying him out. You've got to ask what's going on here. This is an absolute scapegoating of a public servant. The Corrective Services Minister stayed in his city office today refusing to front our cameras, but in a statement said it was mutually agreed that new leadership will best position the Department of Corrective Services to implement the necessary reforms. It adds to the existing turbulence in Corrective Services, which has already been through four ministers in just over four years. Josh Yerger, Nine News.